Hello everyone, Amol Soyan here. I'm honored to be elected as ACIP president, and I wanted to briefly go over some important goals that I have for the coming year, and to mention to you my 10-point plan for ACIP. The first thing I want to do is enhance the value for you to be an ACIP member through enhanced membership offerings. So what you're going to see over the next year is we're going to be creating a members-only section of our website. In that section, there will be content that will be valuable for you as a physician to make decisions for your patients. Things such as the ACIP fee schedule will be on there. There'll also be message boards on there, mentorship opportunities if you're a younger physician, and several other offerings that will be very beneficial. The second thing I want to do is to help you as a practitioner save money. How are we going to do that? Well, ACIP is creating its own ACIP Amazon store where we're gonna have products that are needed for your practice at hopefully a rate that's discounted compared to where you go. We're also gonna have more access to our GPO, which is our group purchasing organization, to allow you to purchase goods at a discounted price due to the collective negotiating power of ASIP. The third part of my plan is to enhance state societies. There's a lot of talent out there, and a lot of you guys wanna be leaders your state society is an opportunity to do that. You could become a member of your state board of directors or even president of your state society. The bottom line is there's a lot of leadership opportunities locally. And in this coming year, I want to enhance the state societies. The fourth part of my plan is to engage the youth. Younger paying physicians are finishing fellowship now to understand what values they have and how they can be contributing members to ASIP and how we can contribute to them to help them have more fruitful careers. But I think it's important for us to do a better job of engaging our younger physicians. So we're gonna work to do that in this coming year. The fifth part of my plan is for ASIP to be a better partner with some of our industry partners. There's a lot of medical device companies out there, some pharmaceutical companies for non-opioid based things that have been great partners with ASIP. But I think we can strengthen those bonds through potentially having some webinars to discuss some of their products, to have physicians who may be interested in doing clinical trials to work with them. The bottom line is there's a lot of synergies out there and I wanna make that a goal of my term of president to work with industry more. The sixth part is to continue to enhance advocacy. One of the greatest things about ASIP is how we advocate for you. I got to tell you, there's a lot of medical specialty societies out there, and, and we, I could sit here and name them for you, but if none of them were there, my life would be exactly the same. But if ASIP wasn't there, my life would be very different, because ASIP has been the only voice, in my opinion, that's been advocating for you, to making sure that your stuff is reimbursed and that you can do it, and we're going to continue to work with advocacy. The seventh part of my plan is to enhance the value proposition of ABIP, the American Board of Interventional Pain Physicians. This is a separate board exam through an affiliate organization of ASIP. And what I want to do is make this board certification valuable and viable across all 50 states. For example, I'm from Ohio, and the state of Ohio recognizes ABIP as an official board exam to be a licensed pain practitioner. It's also licensed by our state insurance commission as being a appropriate board, and I wanna expand that to other states. The eighth thing I'd like to do is to increase diversity, not only in our society, but as a specialty, interventional pain management, to make sure those underheard or underrepresented voices are heard. We're gonna be doing that by starting a Women in Interventional Pain Management Forum that you'll see at our annual meeting, which we have been doing before, but we're gonna to continue to enhance that and foster that. Many state societies are also doing similar programs, but also diversity in other ways, people of color and other things, voices that typically haven't been heard. Those need to be heard, and ASIP is going to be the forum to do that. The next thing I wanna do more of is to work with Medicare. And this is something that's unique to ASIP that other societies don't have. The reason why I say that 
is that Medicare has something called a CAC, a Carrier Advisory Committee. And on that committee, you're allowed to appoint a member to represent your specialty. ASIP is the appointing society for that membership. And that is done by law, by statute. All the state societies of ASIP have the authority to appoint that member. And as a result, ASIP is the one that has the voice. And we're gonna wield that voice loudly for you. As you'll see in this coming year, we're doing new local coverage designations on epidural injections. We just did one on facet blocks, and we did one before on vertebroplasty. And I can tell you, for example, when the vertebroplasty one first came out, it had a lot of things that weren't good about it. And ASIP provided some edits, and all of those edits were accepted and made it for a much more workable local coverage designation. ASIP will advocate for you regarding Medicare. And the final thing I'd like to do is to enhance our annual meeting offering and perhaps do component meetings either through state societies or annual meetings. And that's the last part of my plan. I would like each state society to potentially have a conference call or even a Zoom webinar, which we're all used to with their local members. Another thing I was thinking about doing is something called an innovation summit, where we have, and we're going to try this at an upcoming annual meeting, a breakout session that talks about all the innovation and research going on in pain management. It allows industry to talk about some of their newest and greatest products that may be coming out, or physicians that have ideas, that have developed things to present in a forum such as this. And hey, if it really takes off, it may be a standalone conference. These are my plans and goals for my administration in this upcoming year. And I look forward to working with all of you to achieve those goals. Thank you.